like to call to order the joint CFB meeting agenda. Let you know that uh, City Council has a special meeting tonight, a work session, a regular meeting immediately following this CFB meeting. So um, this is a joint meeting. Uh, excuse me, of the phone. I don't have a microphone. Did you hear anything? Probably nothing. Sorry. There we go. This is a joint meeting of the following community facilities district. Community facilities general district number one. Palm Valley Community Facilities District Number Three, Community Facilities Utilities District Number One, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District Number Two, Cottonflower Community Facilities District, Australia Mountain Ranch Community Facilities District, King Ranch Community Facilities District, Sentara Community Facilities District, and finally Cortina Community Facilities District. Um, we need a motion tonight because we have some council members absent. They will not be here uh, at this meeting. They're going to come by phone for the rest of the meeting. So I need a motion in a second to excuse uh, Mayor Laura Tano, Vice Mayor Laura Tano, who will be here for the main meeting. Okay? She's just caught in court. Um, and Councilman Osborne and Bill Stipp will not be at this meeting. So uh, could I hear a motion from uh, a board member? So move. I heard from board member Campbell and a second from board member Holman. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. There are no communication items, so we'll just go on with the agenda. So are there any uh, speaker cards at all? All right, thank you. Will the district clerk please read consent agenda items 5.1 by title only? Approved draft minutes from a Community Facilities District special joint meeting held on January 9th, 2017. Thank you. Does anyone from the public wish to remove the item from the consent agenda? Council? Thank you. Could I then have a motion a second to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. I heard a motion from Board Member Campbell and a second for uh, Board Member Pazillo. Roll call vote, please. Board Member Pazillo? Aye. Board Member Campbell? Aye. Board Member Holman? Aye. Chairman Lord? Aye. Passes 4-0. Okay, we'll go to 6.1. We will consider authorizing the insurance and the sale of Australia Mountain Ranch Facilities District General Obligation Refunding Bonds Series 2017. Our uh, District Treasurer, Doug Sansom, presenting. Madam Chairman, members of the board, uh, we're here this evening to uh, consider a resolution authorizing the issuance and sale of district general obligation refunding bonds um, series 2017 as we'd be issuing them in 2017. Um, the authorization that this resolution would do would give us the authority to move forward with all the necessary actions to uh, refund the current, current existing outstanding debt. Um, overall, the effect of this would be to reduce the district's general obligation debt service the refunding is estimated to uh, can come out with savings of approximately $1.4 million net present value. Actual savings year to year on debt service is closer to $1.8 million. And the refunding bonds as they are general obligation will be secured by real property taxes levied within the Estrella Mountain Ranch District. The Estrella Mountain Ranch District does have a development agreement which caps the tax rate at $1. Anything above that $1 rate is paid for by Newland communities. Um, if there was no backstop or if something were to happen where the developer would default on that, the tax rate of the existing debt would be $1.83 out in Australia Mountain Ranch. So Newland's making up that $83.83 .83 difference on the tax rate. Under the refunding, that would drop to $1.66. So it's about a 20 cent, 17 cent reduction in debt service if we were levying the entire amount, but we do cap it at $1. So what it ends up doing is lowering the backstop that we're being paid for from the developer by about $100,000 a year. With that, I will open it up to any questions. Any questions? Well, we'll wait, let's put a motion in first here. So will the city clerk please read the resolution number authorizing the insurance and sale of the Australia Mountain Branch Community Facilities District General Obligation Bonds Refunding Bonds 2017. Adopt Australia Mountain Ranch Community Facilities General District EMR CFD Resolution 17 105. Great. Um, could I have a motion from a board member and a second? So moved. Second. I heard a motion from board member Holman, a second from board member Pazillo. Open for council discussion. 
Board Member Bazillo. Are we extending the time periods at the same time period? Same time period. Okay, thank you. Board Member Yanville. And the cap stays at one dollar. The cap stays at one dollar. Correct. Thank you. I think that's very good. I I hope the public is fully aware of that. Very good. Okay, uh, discussion is finished. So roll call vote, please. Board Member Campbell. Aye. Board Member Homan. Aye. Board Member Pazillo. Aye. Chairman Lord. Aye. Passes four zero. Great. So uh, there's not a district manager report. No staff. Staff uh, summary of any kind, or does the board have any inquiry? All right, with that, this meeting is adjourned. Now we move to the special meeting. Would you just give me a moment and we'll do that. Here we go. All right, I'd like to call to order Monday, the January 23rd, 2017.